How are you? Happy Friday. Today our topic is finding your support system. So we're going to talk today about committing to your health and your wellness. Maybe it's mindset wellness or physical wellness and health, um, but specifically when you're feeling like those around you are not on board with supporting you in your changes or your desire to make these changes. And you're just maybe not also feeling like asking for the support and for the help to make the changes. You know, when we're in that place of feeling like you're not getting the support, it can often make us feel that much more stuck. Um, and maybe you're feeling like, okay, I'm really ready to make these changes. Um, but you can feel a lot like, okay, I know what I want to do. I maybe even know what I need to do, but I just can't seem to make myself move. I just can't seem to make myself do the things. And it becomes this like never ending spiral down and it feels really, really lonely. Um, and the more we feel stuck and the more lonely we feel in that place, we just don't, the more we don't want to ask for help. And pride really starts to kick in and guilt and shame really start to kick in. But I want you to hear this. You're not alone in those feelings. I've felt those feelings. Um, pretty much everyone I've ever spoken to has felt those feelings. But also, I really want you to hear this. Your loved ones, your friends, your extended family members, your coworkers, the people who care about you in your life, they also feel it. They feel stuck. They feel unsure of how to support you. They want to support you. They care about you. So when it comes to support, sometimes it can come in really different ways. It can sometimes be really blunt and that is hurtful. I've um, received <laughs> blunt non-support in different ways and some of the ways have included like people saying to me like, whoa, what are you never going to eat dessert again? Um, or uh, I've heard like, oh, you're just good with n depriving yourself. And then the one that really stings is, oh, you're just part of the no fun club. Give me something below if you've heard anything like that or share with me some of the blunt things you've experienced. But sometimes it's also a little more subtle. Like maybe if you are making some healthy changes or you're planning to make some healthy changes like doing a cleanse or um, joining up with a seven day challenge, something like that, or just making some healthy nutritional changes in your life, um, wanting to eat better and your loved one plans a night out in the middle of all that or brings home some special treats and it can kind of feel like a little jab like but wait a minute you knew I was doing this challenge you knew I was making these healthy changes why would you plan that it's a little more subtle but it can kind of feel a little bit like a jab sometimes or maybe eating your favorite craving right in front of you or sometimes it's just a look a look that is so meaningful to you. Like the closer we are to sometimes to, to people sometimes, like the more we know what these looks might mean, right? But sometimes and more often than not, the lack of support is more assumed than anything. We assume that they don't like the changes that we're making or wanting to make. We assume that they don't want to support us. We assume that they're trying not to support us. And we assume that they're trying to sabotage us. There are assumptions that we have within us. So my tips for you to overcome these feelings of lack of support and fear of asking for help is to instead of asking for help because shame can really come into play and make it way too hard to ask for that help, right? Is to do these things instead. State to those close to you what it is that you're doing. Tell them, tell them I'm doing this seven day love your gut, gut health challenge. 
tell them I'm joining in on this four week gut health challenge, this gut health nutrition program, or I'm joining in on this, um, I'm doing this physical fitness program. Tell them whatever it is you are doing. My goal is to walk every day for 10 minutes. Tell them exactly what it is that you're doing. Tell them why you're doing it. Maybe you're doing it because you want to feel physically better. Maybe you're doing it because your mindset, your emotional health has been down. And you know that if you reconnect to your physical health, health, it's going to help your mind, your emotions feel so much better. And you want to clear your head. Tell them whatever the reason is that you chose that you are doing it. Tell them what it means to you. It means to me that I'm going to be able to make clear, confident decisions for myself, for my family, for my career. Tell them what you need. Maybe you need for the next seven days while you do this challenge not to go out to dinner. Maybe you need to not see that craving (laughs) for seven days, for the next three weeks, whatever the case may be. Tell them what you're struggling with. Maybe you're struggling with how to get a variety of vegetables in in the week. Maybe you're struggling with how to uh, plan your meals for going to work. Tell them whatever it is you're struggling with. And your loved ones are going to take all of this information and decide how they can and they want to help you because they care about you. And just like you want to help and support your loved ones because you care about them, they want to help and support you because they care about you. They may not want to join you on whatever it is that you're doing, and that's okay, but they wanna support you because they care about you. They just wanna know what it is that you're doing and why you're doing it so they can figure out how they best can support you. So I hope those tips are really helpful to you to give you the confidence in sharing what it is that you're wanting to do with your loved ones so that you can subtly ask them for the help, allow them to help you and allow them to support you. And I want to leave you with this. When we join in with a community of others who are just like us, who are on that same pathway, We are that much more able to achieve whatever it is our goals are. So if you have a goal of adding in a variety of vegetables in your life for gut health, if you have a goal of walking every day for 10 minutes or adding a workout back into your life and getting physical fitness into your life for some emotional health and mindset support, then when you join into a community of others who also have those goals, who have a wellness journey as well, then then you have somebody you can bounce these feelings off of who also understand them because they too are on that same journey. You can share the struggles that they too have the same struggles. You can share the wins that they too are going through those same wins and can understand your wins and help you celebrate them. So when you join in a community of like-minded people, you are not out there alone on your journey and you can love your journey that much more and it becomes a part of who you are naturally to fit into your life. So I want to invite you to come join my wellness community. It's totally free to join. I'm going to put the link below if it sounds like something that it could be helpful to you. We share in there healthy recipes that work for the entire family. We do free challenges to kickstart our health and wellness journey. They are either nutrition or physical fitness based and mindset always 
plays a part in all of our wellness journey and challenges that we do. And we all come together to support one another in our everyday ups and downs that happen when you're on a wellness journey. So I hope to see you in there. I will put a link to the group below and um, any questions at all, please just put a comment or send me a private message. Again, I hope those tips were helpful so that you can get the support that you need um, in your health and wellness journey in your life. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.